let's end this on the New York Jets here. And AJ, we started the show off talking about your running backs and your view on them. And we're going to end the show talking about your running backs. And this New York Jets backfield, obviously, Michael Carter, Brees Hall. I do remember some shows, Aaron, you were not so happy about the draft position of Brees Hall. AJ, what do you think this backfield looks like in terms of fantasy with Hall and with Carter? I think they start out going with Carter. He knows the system. He's been in the NFL. He's got a year under his belt. He can, he's done some nice things for, uh, for this Jets offense. Uh, But when I look at the talent of Brees Hall and what he's able to do, I think he's, I think he's got better vision than Michael Carter. I think he's a little stronger than Michael Carter. And I think he's got more breakaway speed than Michael Carter. You look at what Brees Hall did in the last two seasons, rushed for 3000 yards over the last two seasons in uh, at Iowa state 41 touchdowns over the last two seasons at Iowa State. Those are the numbers of a type of guy that, yes, it was in college, and yes, it was Iowa State, but those are the numbers of a guy you expect to come in the NFL. And I'm not saying he's going to run for 1,500 and, you know, 15 touchdowns his first year, but I think he's got a solid a solid chance to be close to 1,000 his first year. I think he's got a solid chance to have eight-plus touchdowns his first year. And if this offense, from what we've seen them do, uh, in, in the offseason, in the draft and free agency, what we've seen them do to this team, if we expect them to take an uptick like a lot of people think, I mean, I think he's going to be a solid part of it. I don't think he's left in the dust. I don't think you jog him back across the Vegas Strip to walk on the stage to be like, well, that was your moment in the sun, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think I don't think Michael Carter will be faded, but I do think part of drafting a guy like Brees Hall in the second round was because they did have question marks about what they saw out of Michael Carter last season. Uh, so I think I think you're another running back by committee. That's what the NFL is going to these days. They want to save them while using them for their contract years before they dump them all at the same time. And I I, I do like this offensive line that they're running behind too. Like not to not not saying like Connor yeah. McGovern is like a, a big time name, but I I mean Mackay Becton if he comes back <laughs> and plays to to the level that he's been known to play at, Elijah Vera Tucker's not a ba- a bad guard. You throw in a, the signing of Lake and Tomlinson. This offensive line, I feel like, is good to run behind for for these two to be fantasy relevant. Uh, Dylan, you were kind of given a face when not, maybe not a bad face, but you were mm-hmm. giving some type of reaction face to what AJ was saying. Elaborate. It was on. Oh, elaborate. Uh, tell me more. Uh, good question there, kid. Um, AJ always he, he says um, he said eight touchdowns. Do you mean like I, I, I question? I think eight might be a little steep for one specific running back here. I was thinking maybe total touchdowns. I can see Brees. Yeah. But uh, Brees Hall yeah. rookie year. Okay, total. Okay, I, I'll, I'll get on board with that. Eight rushing from a rookie. I don't, I don't know. But I, I think the one-two punch is nice. You know, you got this is the Carter, uh, Lil Wayne joke um, back there. And then you also got uh, Brees Hall. So I think the one-two are beautiful there. They play off each other well. Carter actually was pretty solid in the receiving game last year too. Um, he, he had pretty solid hands. I, I'm curious to see how they use both of the backs, but I think both of them will provide value, and there goes the host. I mean, you got to stop your take. But, I mean, Aaron, you look like you were going to be upset uh, with both of us. So. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, not not upset. Um, <laughs> I, I just worry about when we start labeling how many touchdowns we're going to give a player. Um, eight touchdowns is a lot. Potential. Potential and I know it doesn't seem like a lot because it's only eight. But eight touchdowns is it's a, that's a great season for for a player, and um, I'm not sure how many players rushed for eight touchdowns last year, but I, I don't I think eight eight touchdowns is a stretch for. Yeah, we were doing so well. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's it's okay, Dylan. How many touch, how many players last year had eight touchdowns or more? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen running backs rushed for eight. Fourteen running backs rushed for eight or more touchdowns last year. Aaron, it looks like you're kind of back. Uh, yeah, you're I, definitely I think back. Says I'm back. Um, yeah, you're back. So, so, well, Debo, so yeah. To, 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 to my point, um, I, I just find it as somebody that's in a running back by committee. Um, which I do believe it will be some kind of running back by committee on a team that hasn't proven to score very many touchdowns. Um, I think you're just both – you're in a situation where both these guys are going to be hard to trust. Um, I do agree. I think Brees Hall is going to be the lead guy there. I think Michael Carter is going to get faded a lot. Um, but I do think Michael Carter will be used in the pass game. 
And I know Brees Hall is capable, but I think when it comes to passing down situations, I think they're going to give it to, to Michael Carter just because they want to get both guys involved. So you might see a situation where Brees Hall is that first and second down guy. Michael Carter comes in, gets the third down stuff. Brees Hall gets the goal line carries, and Brees Hall finishes as a higher flex than Michael Carter.